Hey guys, this is another vlog. It is Thursday. It's 12, 16. I'm about to head out real quick. We have an appointment with our wedding planner at the venue. So I am actually getting ready to head out and just putting some dishes in the dishwasher real quick. I forgot to make myself a coffee, so I'm about to do that too. I haven't had any coffee today. I wanted to show you guys my outfit really quick though. I have my mock neck, little turtleneck bodysuit from Zara. And it's like chocolate color. And then my sweatpants are from Unicorn. And then I have my Yeezys on. Ugh, I'm about to make coffee in my Starbucks cup. I searched high and low for this cup like last year because I could not find it. And I was trying to search for it. But obviously I found it at my local Starbucks and I've been using it since. Got my coffee, got my sip. That first sip tastes so good. Mm. All right, but I will come back on camera when we get to. guys it's the next day it's friday yesterday was kind of busy so i'm sorry again i didn't get to film like that i don't know why but i didn't take my camera out when i was recording the whole like walkthrough and everything with the wedding planner it's so weird doing that i don't know why it's just so weird i had every intention to take my phone out i mean take my camera out and i'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind because i was recording with my phone but i don't know I just felt weird. I don't know. Plus, I was trying to focus on she was telling us and stuff. So what I can say is it's a lot of planning. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot. Like every little detail. But yeah, we went to go check out the venue and stuff like that. And just to look around and really have her show us like, like where she would suggest putting certain things and decorating and all that. So, But if you do follow me on Instagram and on YouTube, like right here, I did upload like a little snippet video, like a short um, on YouTube and on Instagram. So you guys should have seen something, but I didn't actually record, so I do apologize. Anyways, today something came in the mail and I'm gonna show you guys what it is or what they are. I ordered a whole bunch of Christmas storage bags. Um, you guys, you guys seen in my last vlog that the big one is gone. Took that down. And now I have a whole bunch of these which these fit up to six or seven feet. But either way, I have to take them down, taking these down as well as the ones in Macy's room and the ones outside, out there, right there. So there's a lot of them in here. And I got them from Amazon, so yeah. I'm about to just take these down really quickly. I, after I take these down, I wanna see like type of storage Macy's room needs because I don't know if you guys heard me say it before, but her room needs like storage. Her room needs like toy storage. And I saw these things on Ikea, which I'm gonna enter right here, but I saw these little storage things on Ikea that I thought looked really, really nice. Ikea out here in Atlanta, they stay being out of stock of stuff. Like even last year, it just, ever since COVID, like 2020, they have been terrible with stocking up on stuff. Even ordering it from another Ikea, they don't do that. Like, I don't, I don't know why, but like if I see that it's in stock in Florida, I cannot order from it. I already tried that before. They won't let me order from Florida and get it shipped here. I'm just like, okay. So I'm gonna just try to see if they have anything available. Well, the actual storage units that I'm looking for and probably pick it up tomorrow because i really want it um once i take her tree down i want to fill that space that's right there which i'll show you guys in a minute after i get done taking down these trees so i got this one down it's pretty light i forgot how light these were the nine foot tree was so heavy taking it down i didn't record it but it was so heavy taking it down it's just plastic that oh wow they're kind of big well i guess i'm the one for there have room for both, but we'll see. Cause then if I do, if I have extra room, I'm taking it back. It's all in literally one bag. Like this stand and everything. I didn't take my little stand out. Both trees fit in this bag. What? 
cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. What? So freaking dope. This was easy. This was so easy. Okay, so here is Macy's corner where all her little Christmas stuff used to be. It's now gone. So basically I want to put this like storage, toy storage thing right here. So I have like toys right here from Christmas that she hasn't really played with. And then we have like toys right here and right here. This is her toy chest that I got from Amazon last year. I love this toy chest but I it's full so I need like something else and then you guys know right here is her little kitchen area i just need all of this to go over here in like a storage her bookshelf fell um her bookshelf fell right here on the wall i hate these type of bookshelves these did not come from my kid but i literally hate these type of bookshelves because they're the ones where like you have to like put in a screw and then like try to hook it but it's just so complicated because the screw is already on the wall as you guys can see we totally messed it up this one was like so perfect this was the last one we put in and it just fit the wall so perfectly but whatever i'll just figure that out tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and take the front christmas trees down and like change our carpet not carpet i'm gonna change our doormat yeah i'm gonna put the red christmas reef up and the trees and the doormat all up in the storage bag because I just don't want it out there anymore. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm about to go put a jacket on. All right, put that in there. I feel so excited guys because I don't know me I don't have Christmas decor. Like, you know, I don't have Christmas decor from last year. So having Christmas decor for this year that I can just bring out um, in December again, I'm loving it. Now, that being said, of course, you know, I'm probably gonna be like, y'all, I don't need nothing for Christmas. I got all that Christmas decor in my garage. Y'all know I'm about to get some still this year, <laughs> but, I have most of my Christmas decor, so I'm super excited. Like, I'm super excited. I don't have to really do too much this year. These bags, I'm telling you, are so bomb. Oh my gosh. These bags are so bomb. I literally can fit. I'm gonna put this one this way. I'm, I literally can fit all of my stuff in these bags. So freaking dope. There, it's done. Uh, last, I am finally done. This is a doormat that I purchased like a long time ago. Literally just got it out the Target bag that it was in. But I think I'm gonna put this out here. I'm gonna change this when we get to spring and it starts to get really warm out. This is just temporary, but right now, I just don't want the Christmas stuff out there, so I think I'm gonna put this one out. And then I had my wreath from last year as well, so this is what we're looking like for the front um, area. I'm gonna put this up, sweep it up a little bit, clean it up, and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys, really simple, plain and boring. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And then you guys see the actual wreath on the door. So yeah, that and that. That's what the front door is looking like. It's Saturday, so happy Saturday. It is very cold outside and gloomy and it is just cloudy out. We're supposed to get some snow. I'm super excited. Georgia doesn't get snow like that. Like we be getting like a dusting. Y'all know I'm from Massachusetts, so I'm very much used to getting like a lot of snow, but um, we haven't had snow like in December normally like January February is when our winter starts even though we're already in winter but we don't get like winter weather until like January February so we are supposed to get some snow so we're supposed to get some snow and I am headed to the stores real quick because I want to get I wanted I told you guys yesterday I wanted to go to home goods um 
so that's where I'm going now. I'm going to Home Goods and I'm also going to Hobby Lobby and I may go to Target if I have enough time. But you guys, I am so excited. I ordered my bail and I got my dress. So I'm like, I don't know, it's like really hitting me. I know I didn't get a chance to show you guys like the whole walkthrough with our wedding planner, but when I tell you we were having so much good ideas and like it was just so nice to talk about like everything and like what we want and like like just telling each other like where we would like just come up with ideas like oh we should do this we should do that over here let's put this over here let's this would be like it's so dope and our wedding venue um is allowing us so much like freedom we get to choose our own caterer we get to have our own bar staff so we bring our own liquor and um all the furniture that they have in that space we can have for free so like we're just we can use tables and stuff i'm not gonna get like chairs we're, we're gonna do our own chairs because i want a certain look but they're allowing us to use like certain things and i'm just like this is so cool because some of the furniture is really cute so yeah i'm just super excited ah, i'm super excited i just had to get my shoes and i know exactly what shoes i want you guys and um I cannot wait to get them like they're gonna look so cute I really am excited I'm just ready to marry my best friend like I'm just ready to marry him I'm gonna stop talking and driving and I will see you guys inside of home goods or Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby we'll go to Hobby Lobby first. Right, guys I'm at Hobby Lobby and I'm looking for some dried flowers which I've seen some of these only thing is they're a little brown and that's not what I was looking for. I already have pompous grass this color. So why would I want like brown, you know, um, florals or whatever. This looks nice. This is more of a green. Even though it looks yellow on camera, it's kind of green. But I wanted to show you guys what I gathered. So I gathered these. I love this. This is, it looks yellow on camera, but when I promise you it's like really green, it's really green. It's not as light. And then I like these little things, even though they're more brown. And then these little, what are these? Caps, uh, what is this? Capsvia? I don't know what that is, but they look really nice. They almost look purplish or bluish, see? Beautiful. I wanted something modern but not dry green, uh, brown like this. So, got these. I'm gonna bring these up to the front. They do have some more over here. Cute, but I just ended up getting these instead. And then they have different ones. I was gonna get these, but I wanted something that looked like this. So, yeah, gonna bring these up to the front. They have these right there too. Some greenery all right here. It's 50% off. So that's cute, but uh, I like what I got. I'm looking for a laundry sign. I found all the, look at this one. It's 50% off. Yeah, wash, like, dry, and fold. I think that is so freaking cute. I have this one. I think I want this one though. This one's small and cute. This one, this one has endless love and laundry. I think I'm gonna get this one, y'all. This is more modern in my style. I'm in Marshalls. Um, I was gonna go to Home Goods, but I just decided to go to Marshalls because it's closer. But let's see so i have these already and they have a i don't know what this is but it looks let me see it's like a deeper pot 25 dollars that is not bad at all like to make pasta and stuff dang they hardly got any candles like what the heck oh but i got my limoncello so i'm definitely getting this 
I want the house to smell different. It's been smelling like Christmas for a long time, and I want it to smell. I want it to smell like clean day or something like that, which I love that candle, but they don't have it. All right, well, I didn't find anything, so on to Target and then home. I'm gonna show you what I got from Hobby Lobby again because I changed what I got. So I end up getting this sign right here: Wash, Dry, 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 Fold. <laughs> Which is funny because when we wash our comforter, we have to put it in multiple and multiple times. So I thought this was appropriate. I think I'm gonna put this right over here. Yeah, perfect. See, just something small to go right here. So I'm gonna put that up in a second. Okay, and this is the greenery that I got with the mixture of these and these as well and then this right here i have in my living room but i want to change it see i think it looks way better than the pompous grass so this is gonna go in the living room okay guys quick update for my camera guys i decided to mix these over here which i think it looks so cute nice and modern i absolutely love the fact that i got these little ball things i don't know they just look so nice and then the greenery right here with the wood and everything. I just love it. And then I decided to change up this area right here. I ended up putting these like, I don't know what these are, but like purple baby breasts. I don't know what they are, but they're these little flowers. <laughs> I put them over here. And then I ended up getting this candle from Target. It's from Threshold and it was $10. It's fresh linen and sea salt. It smells so good. So now that we're going into the springtime, I want to get like linen scents, fresh scents, citrus, like just anything that's like more so summery, spring-ish. So yeah, nice floral, fresh scents. And for my fireplace, I put the rest of these little ball things. I already had this vase from Hobby Lobby and I also had the pompous grass from Hobby Lobby as well, but then I added these little ball things just to give it some more characters. This little area is not complete because I still want to put some like figurines or something over here, but I ended up just putting the florals from the rest of the, I end up putting more florals like the one over there in the dining room over here. So I have this fruit basket that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. And I'm just gonna put like all of our fruits in it because we just have so much fruits just sitting in that corner over there and I just wanna put like a basket. From Marshalls, I got two things. Like literally they had nothing in Marshalls. So I got the lemon cello candle, which I always get, you guys see me always get this candle. It smells so good. And then I got this popcorn. I got this popcorn before. It's from the Popcorn Factory. It is the caramel with sea salt. I love getting this popcorn. If you guys see this at your Marshalls or Home Goods, or whatever, grab a box, grab a bag, and this is, tastes so good. Then Target, I got some really simple things. I ended up getting these Airwicks. It's the White Flowers and Melon Summer Delight. You guys know I always get the Airwicks because I have a lot of them throughout my house. But I made sure that I got the white flowers and melons because like I said, it's now getting into springtime, even though it's like really cold out, but it will be warm soon. And I just want to start transitioning the house to like a summer scent. So I got these and then I got some more sanitizing wipes, which I'm going to put up right now. So I got these. I freaking love these Kit Kats with the raspberry. Mm, these are so bomb. So I got two of them to go in our candy jar right there. And then I got these two. So I'm just gonna like pour them up and mix them. Let's see if the command ship will work. It's looking like real easy and simple and cute. I use command strip. So, yep. Cute. All right, guys, that's the end of the vlog. I'm about to relax. I went out and now it's Saturday and I'm just about to enjoy the rest of my Saturday. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow, so hopefully we do because I want to see some snow. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And if you did, you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the like button and yeah guys, I hope you have a good Saturday, good weekend, a long weekend for those who are working because y'all know having Mondays off is 
a blessing. I love having Mondays off. So, yeah, guys, I'm about to relax, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.